Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, over the weekend, everyone has been talking about the Unreal Engine 5 demo running on the PlayStation 5, and reportedly, we got some information of it running on a PC. Well, at least a laptop. Now, this came from Epic Games in China, but this was later debunked by Tim Sweeney himself, who was saying that it was running an MP4 file. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on here because there are some other reports saying Saying that the first part of the demo was actually being run on this laptop. Now the apparent laptop was a 2080Q and a 970 Samsung SSD drive. Now I'm not quite sure on what's going on here. I'm going to take Tim Sweeney at his word. If he was saying that this was not actually the demo running, that it was just a video of the demo, seeing how he is the head of Epic, I'm going to have to take his word on this. Nonetheless, a lot of people want to know how this will perform on other consoles. Now some gamers were under the impression that what we saw at last week's demonstration was only for the PlayStation 5, that it was some sort of exclusive. Now the demo that they did run definitely was running on a PlayStation 5, however this is also going to run on an Xbox Series X. Tim Sweeney also clarified this, that everything that we saw in the demo will also run on the Xbox Series X and it will also look fantastic on that system as well. However, I will say that Sony has a small advantage here with the SSD drive. Now because they can load things in a little bit faster, we may see some differences in the demonstration when it gets played on the Xbox Series X. Now I think some things may be able to be drawn a little bit further out on the PlayStation 5 and some things may not disappear as quickly on the uh, PlayStation 5 as they would on the Xbox Series X. Apart from that, I don't think we're going to see a big difference. The loading times are going to be better on the PlayStation 5, but they're going to be better by a few seconds and I think there's going to be some ways that Microsoft is able to achieve this on the Xbox Series X. Now we all know that the Xbox Series X has a velocity architecture in it and we haven't really seen a demonstration of this. However, the director of PM over at Xbox, Jason Ronald, said that we will have more to share about the Xbox Velocity architecture in the future. Now, in my opinion, Microsoft really needs to show this architecture, let gamers know what it's going to be able to achieve on the Xbox Series X with its games. Now, we already know that there's going to be a hundred gigabytes of virtual memory stored in the Xbox Series X due to this architecture and I just want to see it in motion. Now, I think that Microsoft needs to have a demonstration similar to what we saw with the Unreal Engine 5 demonstration. Microsoft needs to show gamers exactly what the Xbox Velocity architecture is capable of doing and the only way to achieve that is with an in-game demonstration. Hopefully we get to see this soon and hopefully we get to see a 60 frames per second demonstration instead of the 30 frames per second demo that we saw of the Unreal Engine 5. Now I wasn't the only one that was disappointed that that demonstration was shown in 30 frames per second as somebody on Twitter asked one of the developers if they they could actually create a 60 frames per second 1080p mode of what we saw from the Unreal Engine 5. And a developer, Daniel Wright, responded saying, we are working towards a 60 frames per second option at this quality, but it's still early tech. We can already do 60 frames per second at a lower quality, and we have enough scalability knobs that games can choose the right trade-offs for themselves. So this is really good for the Unreal Engine 5. It's good to know that some games will be able to achieve 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 5, and obviously the Xbox Series X. Now, they're going to have to dial in some of the settings, so I don't know if that's going to be shadows, if that's going to be ambient inclusion, if they're going to lower the level of global illumination, but nonetheless, they are able to achieve this demonstration at 60 frames per second on the next generation consoles, and I think this bodes well. Now, the next generation consoles have to achieve 60 frames per second as a minimum requirement. I don't want to see a whole host of 30 frames per second games. 30 frames per second should be left behind with this generation. The next generation going forward, as I've said many times before, it needs to have a minimum 60 frames per second mode. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about all this information. Are you excited that Microsoft is going to show off its velocity architecture? As well, are you looking forward to seeing the Unreal Engine 5 running at 60 frames per second on the next generation consoles? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.